How do you do, G Pot Crew? It's your naughty buddy Potty here, and welcome to Journey Nine. I always love trying to do the ooh right there. Anyway, guys, this has been what three months since I've done my last journey video, and honestly, there was I I, I had my reason why I'm waiting and everything. Not because I didn't want to do this, it's just I wanted to know if things would be special. Plus, I wanted to wait till I got back from my trip. What trip? Well, that's the first bullet point. So if you look over here, over here, over here, I can never, the reverse thing messing me up. Uh, if you look over here, you'll see I have PowerPoints for everything. I don't, uh, I will also clip or split these in the uh, description so you guys can go to which part you want to hear about in my journey. But of course, right now we're on point one, which is Las Vegas. So, and my camera keeps on blurring in and out, so I do apologize for that. But I, I got back from Las Vegas um, about about two weeks ago, more than two weeks ago. Actually, you know, about two weeks ago. No, we're about, I think we're about over two weeks ago, <laughs> but we're, not, we're close to it. Anyway, um, but, and it was a life-changing experience. It was a fun experience. Now, if you haven't seen my videos, I've done some shorts. I'm also working on an Omega Mart video that I recorded the audio, but it takes some time to get the video together. And I really want to make it special. I don't want to just throw it together. So I figured we'll do that down the road leading into maybe the next year's Omega Mart. Yes, you heard that right. Next year's Omega Mart because I am going back to Las Vegas. Now, I unfortunately did not stick around as long as I said I was going to. That's my fault. Um, both my friends told me that I should stay longer um someone's birthday kind of ran on there and i wanted to be there for the birthday but we still celebrated before i left so i should have stayed longer that is my fault that was because i was trying to kind of adjust everything to make everything special for everyone and i just i i dropped the ball on that one um but it's just out of care so it's not like it's a bad thing it's just i really 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 um you know but um i yeah as i stated i'm doing a video on omega mart which you can see i actually got the uh, bottle right here from omega mart um i got a bunch of other um souvenirs from las vegas that i really really enjoyed and it's life-changing you know what i mean a, a lot of things are great happened there i i really enjoyed myself it was nice to get a vacation time as well as recording time with my friend nikki which that was the biggest thing about las vegas guys the introduction to my best friend like i you have to understand i have my my I, it's a weird situation where when it comes to my closest friends i have like the guy friends and the girlfriends and no, okay so let me phrase that girl friends i'm going to make sure I, I make that clear because i don't have i'm not in a relationship right now but my point is is i have i'm really close to friends and i'm um, um it's making me change who i am as a person and las vegas was a big part of that Meeting Nikki was the best, best moment in my life. You have to understand, I got to meet all, all the other friends I made. I got to meet John from All G Cast. I got to meet everyone else that you might have heard, either on his channel or my channel. And then, and then me, me and Nikki actually had some fun challenges where I got a, a quick temporary tattoo of Sonic the Hedgehog in my face. Like, it was a crazy, 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 pretty much two, three days. And... It's, it was unforgettable to the point where I'm going back. I love Las Vegas. I'm saving up for it. We're going back again. I just, I loved it so much. And it was a very life-changing thing. So much so that it's made me change how I am as a person. You know, I'm still this geek you love. Like, And, and, and later on in the video, we're going to get into the geek culture as you see from the, the points over here that there will be a point down below where I'm going to get into that geek culture. But the point of the whole thing is, is that it, the reason it was life-changing is because I'm wanting to, I guess you want to say grow up. It's not that I didn't really grow up. I'm still a geek. I'm still a guy that collects action figures and toys and plays video games. But I put that aside because it will always be there and I'm known for that now. And God, quit learning in and out. You're a crazy camera. But um, I'm not going to change who I am as a person. I've, I've milestoned or I've set, settled and set myself as the geek. The geek of all geeks. I mean, there are other plenty of owns out there that can afford to have bigger geek. It's it's pulsating, baby. That, the camera's pulsating. But, um, and I keep noticing it, too. That's why I keep turning my, my eyes away from the camera. But it's, it's life-changing because I'm now at that point now where, like, I, 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 I've expressed myself out there in the world to be the geek that I've always wanted to be. Um, I'm, I, I feel like I was ahead of the curve when it came to, like, 
n pop culture and, and, and being a nerd because everyone else, it was ridiculed. And I didn't want to change who I was growing up. But then I got older and I got, I have my viewers, I have fans, I have my channel. It will never go away. I will always make content. But I had to take a break. Prime example is I've not even seen Madam Web yet. Now I heard bad reviews, but this is the first Marvel movie, this channel that I have not reviewed or sat down with. Even Echo, the series, I did not do anything there. And we're going to get into that later on as well. But that's my whole point. It's really shocking for me to be like, I'm going to put this stuff aside and focus on what I need to do. And the reason for that is I, as you guys know, I'm on this weight loss journey. That's why this, this video is called Journey. And that's what you guys are here for. And we're going to get deeper into that. But it's also a matter of health. For example, I was the one that was just like, you know, get cheap stuff. Get, get stuff that is about, you know, focusing on, uh, uh, you know, uh, focusing on uh, like stuff like, you know, getting, I'm not worried. I mean, as far as like I take showers every day and things of that nature, but like I'm not getting good things. I'm always going for the cheaper thing because it was just easier. But now I'm like, I'm, I'm in a, such a, a field of like, you need to really put, set yourself out there. You're, you're, you're worth that time when it comes to companionship, comes to friendship, things of that nature. And you want to express that in different ways. Prime example is uh, Nikki from Ology introduced me to a really nice cologne, I'll say. And so I now bought it myself and it's not, uh, it's not cheap, but then I realized I need this. I need little things in my life like this. And one of those major things, which is going to be the next PowerPoint, wow, I keep messing up here. PowerPoint is driver's license. I am working on getting my driver's license. Now I may have to do some corrective eye things. I may need to do a lot of things, but that's where I'm putting the money back to make those changes. I want to be able to have my freedom because once I get a driver's license, that's going to allow me to get, I have a friend that's going to sell me her dad's vehicle. I'll have my own vehicle. Then I can get my own place. And slowly that's going to, you know, produce a lot of things. And so with that, I, I, I realized this is going to be a domino effect. Once I change those, I'm able to get back into the groove of other things. Prime example is my workout playlist. Okay. My workout playlist is like, a big deal to me and I have not I've been mainly focusing on that and not the content and I'm gonna move I'm gonna cycle the arrows but that's the reason why I want the driver's license I want to be able to go out and do things a lot quicker be able to go shoot other content explore like for example when I get the vehicle I'm gonna go visit Charlotte North Carolina and do a live stream there with you guys I want to visit other locations like maybe Atlanta Georgia and Again, go there and shoot some live streams there. I want to do IRL streams. It's something I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about. Now, of course, you might be thinking, okay, now that means you're just not doing the, the gaming stuff or the, the video game stuff. That's never going to stop. Or the, the comic book stop, superheroes, whatever you want to call it. It's not going to stop. It's always going to be there. It's just going to be something that is going to be more special um, and is going to lead to a lot more content that is amazing. That leads to the path of, and of course, the workout uh, playlist is something that I'm still working on, but unfortunately, because TikTok is stupid and didn't realize, oh, we can't use these audio, we're going to get in trouble. And every single time I, I post a video, like for example, I did um, Jamie Foxx's Blame It, uh, you know, Blame It on the al 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 Alcohol. I did that, <laughs> copyright, I did that. And I was okay to use the music. They had it available on there. And then not a week later, it's been muted. And the thing is, I already had the videos muted on TikTok at that point. But now it's a situation where now they're muting them even after they've given me the approval. So like they, they muted a bunch of my videos. And I said, okay, well, this song is still available. So I guess it's okay. And they go, oops, no, you can't. You're the only one that's used it recently. God, it's going out. The, the camera keeps going, focusing in and out. Sorry about that, guys. But the point to the whole thing I'm, I'm trying to get into it is that I moved my workout playlist over to YouTube. So if you're watching YouTube right now, you can go to my shorts. You can see some of the workout playlists if you've been missing them over on TikTok because TikTok is just shambles. So I post things over there that are not the music workout related because they're a lot easier to work, process here. And I'm, I'm getting a lot more views over here. Plus, you know, with me having a partnership, it's a lot easier. So that brings me into the weight loss and health. Here's the thing. I've kind of plateaued. I'm going to go ahead and give you my, my size. So the thing is, we all know I started at 500. I got down to 400. Then I got down to like 395. I'm now down to 392, but I keep fluctuating between the 390s and the 400. 
I keep staying there. It's not saying that I'm not losing the weight, but I'm also gaining muscle. And at the same time as that, you know, life kind of keeps you pressured. That doesn't mean I'm not working my butt off there. It's just a matter of, I, you know, life is just a little bit thing and then things are a little bit slower. I need to hit that cutoff. It's like I need to like, it's like I'm pushing a door open and I can't get that door open and I'm not going to stop until that door opens and that weight just starts descending. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen right away. I'm not going to let it stop me and it's going to continue. That is the reason why I'm making this journey video now because I was hoping to get to that point where I maybe I'll be at 350 or something before I made this video and that has not happened. But I haven't let it disappoint me or make me mad because it doesn't show that I'm not trying. It just shows that it's a little bit harder than it can be. And I know with me what it is, is with this cold and the the, the, the Christmas and the holidays, that's when it really made it hard. Now we're in March and I'm going to start seeing the heat, which means I'm also going to be shading the weight. Keep in mind, this also means that May 5th uh, or May 4th, because I think that's going to be on Friday, which will be on a Star Wars day. I will be hitting my one year of walking every single day during my lunch at work. One year. I hope I can celebrate it. I hope so. I mean, I'm going to celebrate anyway because I'm going to be walking that day. But literally a whole year, I've walked every single day of my job. I would say the days I was gone and Vegas. But Vegas, <laughs> Vegas, I actually lost 10 pounds, surprisingly. And the reason is because... I barely ate and just walked a lot in Vegas. And it does stop and make you walk, but I need that. I needed that time to get away. When I was walking in the Dallas airport from one uh, from my one flight to another, that was a long walk that took me almost an hour to do, but it was worth it. I was able to do things like this. Even Nikki from RLG says, I'm surprised Putty is making it with me as we continue to walk and hasn't complained. Maybe needed some water here and there, but hasn't said I'm hungry or anything like that. Because we ate in and out when we walked around. But we ate in and out as a challenge. And then that's literally all I had was that burger. And I lost a lot of weight. No, it's not saying I'm not starving myself, guys. It's just I had the food. It was in my system. I I, I worked out basically, uh, you know, you know burn that food and then after we did our walk for several hours i went and got me something else and i did okay on that that's amazing to me and i'm very proud that that happened and i have i have myself to think of that I think i thank myself for pushing myself to that thing and that leads to well the year that's going to happen so we i am going to go back to vegas next year i'm hoping to go to um canada in July, hopefully, um, and and then also I'm hoping to go to Charlotte sometime within the next few months. As far as the Canada thing, I'm thinking about doing something special for Canada. Now, I don't want to get, go into it, so I will go into that later. But speaking of July, I do want to also bring up one other thing, which is this guy right here, Deadpool. So uh, I really want to make sure that this cutout is in the back of all my reviews. Um, so I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that that is accomplished. Um, but Deadpool and Wolverine comes out July 26th. For those that know me, I'm excited. I'm super, super pumped for Deadpool and Wolverine. And that leads into a lot of other content that I'm recording. So, for example, I'm doing my X-Men 97 review of each episode. That's going to be something special I put out there for you guys. The first two episodes come out on June 20th. So I will make sure to have some special overlays. Yes, by the way, we are going old school overlays. If you guys are fans of my channel and saw my old reviews, I am going old school overlays, guys. If you don't remember what that is, believe me, you'll know once you see it. Old school overlays. Um... So I'm going to put those together next week. Also, we have the RLG Apot Award show that's coming up. I have to uh, continue the song. I actually was going to write it today, but I didn't get a chance to. So what I'm going to do is find the song. Um, and then I got to find some music right now. There's background music for this, which you're already hearing right now anyway. Um, and I'm going to find the trying to find the song I'm going to use for the uh, award show. But I have a very special video that I'm going to do for that. That is more for me, I'll be honest, this year than for the viewers. But it's still going to be entertaining uh, nonetheless. So... That is my journey so far. There's a lot more that I haven't really put out there um, that I can't think of right now. And maybe we'll make that for Journey 10. Maybe Journey 10 or Journey X, we'll call it Journey X, um, is going to be extra special. Um, so I'm going to do everything I can to make it extra special. But I wanted to give you guys an update of what my journey is as far as, far as my life, the channel, the, the, uh, the weight loss and just me as a person. It's a weird way that I'm, or weird feeling that I'm having where it's much more different. And 
I'm very, very proud of the progress I've made, not just with my health, but my mental health, my physical health, my my rela- health, and my, my, my healthy relationships with friends and family, and just my health with the channel. I, there's a lot that's happened where a lot of people have said, you know, hey, I've moved on, and I get it. You know, I can't expressively change how I'm doing, but I look at it this way, guys. If you guys want me to be here forever and be able to, 10 years from now, make a spe- make special live streams where we get to special events or, you know, things of that nature, like, I want to be able to go to a Marvel red carpet, and that could be accomplished, but I need to put myself out there and get with people, social network with people, and not just sit in my room and live stream and make videos. That's not a healthy thing to do. And I feel like what I'm doing now is the proper way for me to get to that path and still make sure that I'm at least posting the content. So, yeah, I I'm, I'm, I'm missed some Marvel stuff. Echo, I reviewed over there with John. And then, of course, Madam Web having launched, which I'll, you know, maybe I'll do a late Madam Web review. But already I'm hearing pretty bad reviews. But I'll give an honest opinion about that. But other than that, like, for example, movies, the only movies I'm really looking forward to is Deadpool and Wolverine and Sonic 3. Those are the two movies that are my main focal points this year, um, outside of some maybe sporadic movies here and there. And then it's life changing, you know, being oh God, blur, blur, focus, focus. <laughs> and if that's been happening a lot and I'm not just not seeing it, guys, I apologize. Hopefully next time the video will be a lot more aesthetically, you know, set up better. But um, guys, that's journey nine. I hope I was able to cap everything that I've been having in my life. Um, comment below what other things are you wanting to know for journey 10? Um Maybe there's some stuff that I missed that you want to point out as well that we talk about in Journey 10 since the 10th Journey video. And maybe there's some things you want to ask me about this video and then we'll come or, you know, actually ask me about any of my Journey videos and we'll use 10 as a way to answer uh, viewers. So if you comment below this or any other Journey video with a question, I will go ahead and post it in Journey 10 as a special, you know, section of where I actually like answer viewer questions about my journey and just anything in my life in general. So I want to thank you all for watching. Again, uh, I appreciate you all watching. Um, if you can, make sure that you go ahead and select one of these videos above. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll post a special one here or something like that. Maybe check out my videos. Actually, I'll have my journey playlist playing right there. So as always, I'm putting it with the G-Pod crew. And you know what we do. Do journey videos for me and for you. I appreciate you all. Peace.